welcome back to the channel uh, welcome back to another episode on the dt 125 lc build um got our throttle on i'm just going to wire up uh, the, the cable to the carb and also to the oil pump so uh, i'll show you how that sort of routes and uh, let's get a few more jobs done uh, on the build so we can hopefully get it started in this episode so join me shortly right so we need to run the cable around to the opposite side of the bike just through the forks there's a little slot there our, uh, the cable block, whatever you call it, fits in here and slides in. And there we go. So that's held on in place there. I'm just going to remove the boost bottle out the way. For a second. Right, so our two cables running from this side. We'll have our uh, carb cable which will go there. And then our oil cable will run over to this side. So first of all, let's do the, let's get the carb cable in. And I'll pop that in there. And we've got an e clip holding that in. Our spring on. A bit awkward, but we'll try and slot the cable in there. There we go. And then we've just got this bracket which will hold that cable in place. It can only go in one way. think there we go it's a bit fiddly but um, you'll get there so that's all back together I've got to admit it's been a while since I'd taken this apart as you know it's been a, a few years so I'd have to practice that first before I showed you because I couldn't remember right so let's get this slotted in now this um, this little flat edge here is got to be on the opposite side to where on on the left hand side of the bike, where our tick over screw is located. I'll roughly get that in the right place. Because if it's anything like my CM, you can get it in the wrong place and it still screws down and just revs its knackers off. seems I'm pretty confident that that's in the right place sorry I keep knocking my camera okay let's screw that all the way down perfect right so we'll just slot in the oil cable It goes around the back of that oil pulley and then into this top bit. So, what we can do is turn that round and put it in from the side. And then 
as we let let that pulley go, just make sure the cable's lined in, which it is. I'll just give it a little little throttle just to make sure it's all working. There we go. going to give that a clean up. I've got our new copper washer. Oops. Okay. Go. Dirty my new frame already. I seen um a guard on eBay for the underneath and where it bolts. You've got the two points there and that point there where it bolts to it. So it was the DMK one, you know the proper plate. Um, but yeah, it was quite expensive. So I, I might get it. I don't know. I might just make one, but. I'd probably just prefer just to get that one so it's original but we'll see right we're aiming for about half a litre Just look the bike's level, pretty much. I'm just going to tilt the bike towards me slightly and just check the indicator. And we are slightly over the max there, so I'm going to leave it at that. Because that definitely will go down slightly when everything's moving. I'll just show you on the indicator. Yeah, so as you can see there, it's just above that upper line, so it is, it is slightly over the max. But that will definitely, you know, come down. But we can always drain a little bit out if needed. Right. Time for a bit too strong. It's just to help the fluid run down. I've just opened up the bleed port, as you can see. It was now on its way down. We don't want obviously any bubbles in that line. You can hear the air coming out. Right, next up, coolant.
Right, so it's time to get the exhaust on. I've got our new exhaust gasket and our clamp for our new exhaust as well. Snip those up. So we've got our clamp on there and it's uh, the exhaust is mounted onto this flexible bracket which I am going to replace so I've not bothered painting it then I'm going to get a new one because the, uh, the the rubber sort of in, in the middle is worn and then we have it mounted there as well so let's get that on This is a big one aftermarket exhaust. Um, and as some of you will know, they never they never fit perfect. You always have to you always have to do some jiggery pokery. We've got our got the exhaust in there. We're gonna have a little spring from here to here, which is gonna hold that in place. That's how it's mounted. We've got it lined up with there perfectly. And as you can see here, it's just it's quite it's quite a mile off. So I'm gonna to have to uh, maybe tweak the brackets a little bit. But I'll just have a look at that. Right, guys, so I've got the fluids in, got the exhaust on, although it is just on there, on the one fixing point, because the hole doesn't line up for the second point, which we need to sort that out. But for now, the exhaust is on just so we can get it running and just make sure it's everything's all right. So here's my. Uh, temporary tank I invested in this because I thought I'll use it again in the future and this was uh, 25 quid we've got our little tank there So we've got an on and off lever. wherever you want and just connect that to your fuel line on the bike switch it to on that's already in the on position that's on that's off so with the off position I'll put a bit of uh, petrol in I'm 
going to pour a bit of petrol in this outside. So I got my fuel tank hanging there. Running down. I'm connected here to the fuel line, which is of course going into the carb. So I can switch this to on shortly and we can give it a kick. So what I need to be watching out for is a two stroke coming up into the carb. I want that obviously as quick as possible. Just got to put a new spark plug in as well. I think I'll do that now. Right, that's that old plug out. So the plug I've just took out was a B9ES. So I don't think that was the right one. So this is the one that it should be, which is a BR8ES. But comparing them, they do look very similar. But at least we know we've got the right one now. Just give that a little nipple. I've got the wrong size. What a shock. I once started if I need to um, if I need to shut it down I can just disconnect this wire here connected to the, um, the uh, spark plug housing so I can um, stop the spark if need be right then I think I think that's everything let's put you let's put you there Try and position the bike a bit better. Switch that off. Got fuel coming out straight away. Why have we got fuel coming out? Right, let me have a look why we've got fuel coming out and I'll be back shortly. I've just switched the fuel back on, I've literally done nothing and there's no fuel leaking out of the overflows now, so... Let's give it a kick. Let's take that. 
left off the stone. So it is running, which is good news, but I've still got no, no fuel coming up from the pump. So I don't want to, I've just stopped it straight away, because obviously I want to try and get that, that prime right up to that point. So let me just have a look in the manual, just to see if there's a way just to get that fuel up. I mean, I would imagine it should automatically just start filling. But I want to double check just to be on the safe side. Now let me check the manual and I'll uh, be back shortly. So pretty much what I've done earlier on, manual just recommends bleeding the, uh, the pump just to get any air out. two-stroke I think in our fuel tank just to help with the start of it yeah be back shortly oh, I've got some oil in our petrol tank there just to be on the south side Watch it outside because there's too much smoke getting in the shed. But as you can see there, you've got some old, some old stuff coming through. But it is coming through slowly, but on idle, it's not going to come through that fast. So at least we've got our premix in there, and we've got plenty of smoke coming out the back, as I'll show you now. Oh, just in time to hold the camera for me. Thank you. I need you to point at your exhaust for me. So I can show everybody that the smoke coming out. Just there. 
I'm just trying to get the pump to. Um, I can't see the sun's blowing in there. Oh, look there. In, but it's taking a bit. It's gonna take a bit, but it'll get there. We're pretty much there now. I'm just playing around with the mixture and the um, the tick over. So, but as you can see, that pump's doing its job. It's just feeding that little bit in at a time on tick over. And obviously, when you full rev it, it'll then move. Can you see that? There you go. It'll then open it up fully. So it's took a fair bit, but eventually that oil's made its way to the carb. So it probably took about 15, 20 minutes um, of ticking over just to get it to get to that point. But like I say, we had the two stroke in the temporary petrol tank uh, as a precaution anyway, so that'll be absolutely fine. I still couldn't get it to run and tick over on without the choke on, so I definitely need to look at that. But at least we can say that it runs and it just needs hopefully just a little bit of tinkering with the carb. Um, that should be that should be it. But uh, that's gonna be it for this one guys. Join me next time where hopefully we'll get the get the chain front sprocket on, get some brakes on it and uh, see what it's like changing gears and get it moving yeah thanks for watching until next time goodbye